Okay, just something I've noticed today from your lessons and from your essays is that you're getting confused between despite and in spite of. The most important thing and the first rule to remember is that we don't use of with despite. So we say despite the weather. We say in spite of the weather, but we say despite the weather. So despite does not include of. Now we can use despite or in spite of with a gerund or a noun. So we can say despite the weather or in spite of the weather, or we can say despite studying hard or in spite of studying hard, he didn't pass the exam, for example. If you want to add the noun to the beginning of the sentence or in, in the sentence, so you want to actually introduce the subject of the sentence, it's, you need to use despite the fact that. So we can say the, the, despite the fact that he studied hard or in spite of the fact that he studied hard. So if you want to introduce the subject of the sentence, then it's important or the only way to actually introduce the subject is to say despite the fact that or in spite of the fact that. When we use uh, despite or in spite of, so for example we say despite studying hard, we don't actually use the subject of the sentence, uh, it's given. If you want to actually make the subject of the sentence precise you need to say 